Robot arm. You'll need the following materials and tools. 1. Glue both part G's together, making sure to line up the holes. Clamp or place under a heavy book. 2. Glue part E to part F, making sure to line up the holes. Clamp or place under a heavy book. 3. Glue both part H1's to a matching H2, making sure to line up the holes. Avoid putting glue on the fingertips. Clamp or place under a heavy book. 4. Make the folds on part A. 5. Glue and or tape the corners. 6. Make the folds on part B. Glue to form the holder for syringes. Clamp. 7. Fold part I to form a box. Glue or tape. 8. Fold part C and D. 9. Fold out the flaps on part C. This will be the base. 10. Place part I inside the part C and D around the box with the hole on top and one open side pointed backward. 11. Tape in place. 12. Cut 3 centimeters off the 1 8 inch dowel. Hot glue it to the small hole in the part G's. 13. Make the folds on parts E and F. Glue and tape the ends to form the arm. 14. Cut two pieces off of the quarter inch dowel, each one and a half centimeters long. 15. Glue wooden end caps to the small pieces of dowel you just cut. 16. Assemble the robot hand by doing the following. A. Insert the small dowels with the end caps through the holes in the end of the arm. B. Fold out the fingertips on part H1 and H2. C. Place these over the dowels with fingertips together. D. Glue wooden end caps over the exposed ends of the dowels. Make sure not to use too much glue. The fingers need to move freely. E. Cut the rubber band and tie it around the base of the fingers. The rubber band should hold the fingers together snugly but not be too tight. 17. Cut another piece of the quarter inch dowel to a length of 6.5 centimeters. 18. Slide the arm into the base and line up the holes. 19. Slide the dowel you just cut through all the holes. 20. Glue wooden end caps over the exposed ends of the dowel. 21. Cut another piece off the quarter inch dowel to a length of 3 centimeters. 22. Glue a wooden end cap to this piece of the dowel. 23. Glue it into place, poking up through the hole in the middle of part A. 24. Prepare three of the six syringes by attaching eye screws into the center of the plunger. This is easier if you make a starter hole using a thumbtack. 25. Cut the plastic tubing into three sections. 26. Fill the tubing and syringes using the following method. A. Fit the end of the tubing over the tip of one syringe without an eye screw. B. Depress the plunger on the syringe completely. C. Place the end of the tubing into a container of water. D. Draw on the plunger until the syringe is full. E. Place the free end of the tubing over the tip of a syringe that has an eye screw. Make sure its plunger is completely depressed. F. Depress the plunger on the first syringe. The water should fill the other syringe. G. Test the system by depressing one plunger, then the other. 27. Take one of the syringes with an eye screw. Make sure its plunger is at the halfway mark. Hot glue it to the top of the arm with the plunger extending towards the hand. 28. Attach the last eye screw through the tiny slot in the middle of the arm. 29. Feed one end of the string through the eye screw on the end of the syringe. 30. Pull it halfway through. 31. Feed both ends through the eye screw in the top of the arm. 32. Feed each end through the hole in the end of the robot finger and tie off. 33. Test the mechanism. 34. Add the adhesive pads to the fingertips. 35. Take another syringe with an eye screw and feed it through the back of the arm base. 36. Cut the 1 8 inch dowel to 8 centimeters. 
Feed the 1 8 inch dowel through the small hole in the arm, then through the eye screw at the end of the syringe, and finally through the other hole in the opposite side of the arm. 37. Tuck the end of the syringe into the hole in the top of the small box at the base of the arm. Test the mechanism. 38. Hot glue the end of the syringe in place. 39. Attach the last syringe with an eye screw to part A using a zip tie. 40. Place part G on top of part A with the dowel poking up through the center hole. 41. Carefully slip the eye screw on the end of the syringe attached to part A over the smaller dowel. 42. Test out this mechanism. 43. Try to center the rotation of the arm. Glue the arm to part G. 44. Put the three loose syringes into the control box. Now you're ready to use the robot arm.